16 here at the Stadium of Light. My name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the Championship. It is Sunderland, and they face Hull City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Enjoy the game. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Oh, they could put it away, Stewart. Still could be dangerous. Just the challenge that was required. Reeves. Sunderland doing well to regain possession. Twine. Ozan Tufan. Possession one. a go oh good work to deny the opportunity who can they pick out the keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there well the corner right on the back of the last one and that move comes to an end goal kick And that was a very fine read. Not totally confused as opponent. Well, as you can see, Sunderland have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Alfie Jones. Getting forward. Can he put them in front? Clears it away. Gives it a go. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Seri. Morton. On to Seri. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. It's there for him! So the referee... So back underway here into the second half. Well, he's beaten his opponent. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? He could pick out a teammate. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Opportunity to go ahead. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. That is how to keep it out of the net. There's a the cutback. Another block. 
Is this the moment? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Plenty of support here. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? And players waiting in the centre. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. And the keeper had the measure of that one. Twenty minutes to go. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. And there's the feed into the box. And an ordinary header, and that's probably being charitable. Well, they've decided to make a change. Being pressed hard. They've regained possession. Alfie Jones. An important one to keep them in with a chance. Well, that probably would have been it. That's such a vital save from the keeper. Coyle. And Hull City unable to retain possession. Twine. Well, no time to waste. Can they find an equaliser? Well, that's the sign of a well-organised defence. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances. But overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.